Right then, how are we all? It's been a while, I've been a tad busy. Um, now, there's something that caught my eye on Twitter, and I did see it on the BBC website slightly later, but it was because I follow XJet that I saw this on Twitter. Basically, the counter UAS police in the UK. So basically, the police have been given new powers to crack down on people flying drones irresponsibly or illegally, with dedicated teams looking out for those breaking the rules. Right, so this is a bit disturbing on um, many ways, many, many ways. So they now need special teams, right, to find people breaking the rules, flying drones irresponsibly, and they have special teams for this to issue fines. Now, if people were dying every day from drones or every week from drone flying i could almost see a point to this however <sighs> gotta breathe no show me someone that's died in the uk from a multi-rotor come on counter uas come on ca come on dft come on government show us because we all know Gatwick was BS, and you can see that video there. Um, now, it gets kind of interesting, a little bit. And I'm going to tell you how to fuck with them as well, because if you're going to with us, you're going to fuck your back, basically. What's good for the goose is good for the gander, in my opinion. So I'm going to give you some awesome tips on how to avoid getting those fines. I'm going to give you some tips on how to screw with them a little bit. And sorry, counter UAS, but you deserve this in every single way of the world. I really, you pushed the wrong button somewhere. <sighs> I think myself into some grief somewhere for this, I know I am. Anyway, so, um, so someone goes caught flying over at MI6 building in central London, they got a five grand fine. And, you know, if you're gonna fly over such a building, you deserve what you get, okay? I don't, I don't have a problem finding people for things that they do or, you know, if there's a need for it. But is there a need for it? That, that's the problem with drones. Is there a need for it? We know that Airprox reports typically a pilot can never prove they've seen a drone. That there's no way to do it. We know Gatwick was all BS. We know that something that's seen in the sky doesn't mean it's a drone if someone doesn't know what it is. Okay, it could be anything up there. Could be a helicopter five miles out. Now, isn't that Gatwick? Yeah. Um, now, so Operation Forever Wing can now confiscate drones being flown dangerously. Now, what's interesting is define dangerously and by whose standard is dangerous. Okay. Because let's take let's take my flying for example. Right. Some people might look at my flying and go, "Well, that was dangerous," or "That was reckless." And I'm going, "Well, hang on a minute. Take a step back. Now let's look at it." Right? If someone could just issue a fine on their perception of dangerous and reckless, is that right? Because what I think is dangerous and what someone else thinks is dangerous are two completely different things. Do you know what I mean? So I will fly over a network rail, I'll fly lie over a railway line at 60 metres high. Is that reckless or dangerous? No, it's not. If I did it at 5 metres high, it probably would be considered that if there was a train on the line coming down it at the time. Not that I would do it anyway, but at what point is that considered dangerous? Do you see what I mean? Is it dangerous when there's no train there or when there's a train there? So, yeah. So, so Operation Forever Wing. I have another word we can put in front of forever, so in front of wing, and it won't be forever. It's now, they can confiscate drones being flown dangerously, like I said, prove it. Um, they will also be able to issue on-the-spot fines. Okay, so what is the reason to issue an on-spot the fine? At what point, if you can't tell us, right, so if counter UAS or the police can't tell us the exact reasons for the fine, spe specifically like, okay, so you overflew a football stadium, it's full of people, then you get a fine, that's fine. You've said the stadium's got people in it, you're going to issue a fine. We understand that, 
But you can't say, well, you flew down a road at 30 metres high, so therefore you get a fine. Well, no, because that depends upon the chuffing drone. You know, it's quite clearly from this BBC article that they can't even point out the correct drone laws anyway. So we all know this is going to be go down well. So the Home Office, which are <coughs> Uh, worked closely with setting, the, setting up the operation for Edwin in March. You think there would have been the CAA there helping them out? Don't say that. It says the Home Office. This will include specialist equipment, vehicles, and training. Let's waste my taxpayer money on a pointless system. Thank you, Government Home Office. You bunch of. So this represents a landmark moment for the UK tackling this new and developing threat. That's right, Sean. Hip Gray from the Home Office Director responsible for counter drones. That's right, because people are dying every day from drones. Yeah. Do you know what? What would be really interesting? If they had a department or a vehicle specially made, right, to go out and catch electric illegal scooter users. Just think on the return on investment that will give. So, just so everyone knows, in the UK, electric scooters typically are illegal everywhere unless you're in one of the systems where you can rent them at the minute. You do a little bit of a test and you link them into a little electric scooter. Typically, home users like myself can't use one on a footpath or a road, full stop. There are certain ways to do it, but people get, have had accidents and been killed on these things. That doesn't matter. Right? The threat from them doesn't matter. The threat they are to other traffic users like myself doesn't matter. You know what I mean? You know, we, we're losing people, what, one a month, maybe two a month. Remember, drones, bugger all, for the last 20 odd years. Um, but so, so therefore, of course, drones are the bad things. Anyway, under the rules, anyone operating a drone that either weighs 250 grams or more, or one fitted with a camera has to register with a civil aviation authority. We already know this. Those with drones weighing more than 250 grams must also pass a test on the CA website. We all know this. We've had 200,000 registrations. Yes, you have. You've had more than that, actually. It's about 230 now, I think. Um, but we think there are many more there unregistered, potentially tens of thousands, says Jonathan Nicholson from the CA. Uh, Jonathan, I would agree with you. I suspect that number could be double. Our prime concern is about aviation safety and that aircraft and drones can legally share the same airspace. And I don't want to be in the same airspace as a plane. When you're in the exact same space, there's an accident. Don't want that. There's a reason why we're stuck at 400 feet. Although the hypocrisy on the rules also bugs me because a model plane at three and a half kilos can get to a thousand feet. Why is a multirator, um, at more, uh, you know, can't be at the same height as beyond me? But there's a reason we, ha we use a visual line of sight for detect and avoid. We use Mark 1 eyeball on drones so we can see what's going on. If you see a helicopter in the same area, you get out of its way. If you hear it and you look around and you see a helicopter coming over, you get out of its way. It's simple. Um, so the emphasis is on the drone user because it's much more like it will see a helicopter. Yes, that's right. We get out of the way. That's what we teach. That's what every place teaches where you'll ever go and do like the A2 CFC. It's for us to get out of the way of manned aviation. It's the way of the world. We can live with that. He said the rules for registered larger drones were common sense and include stay well away from aircraft, airports and airfields. Well, you see, I love it when they say that. You would think common sense, although the human race hasn't got that. Don't fly closer than 50 metres to people and don't overfly them. Actually, I can. So can every GBC pilot in the UK. If you've got a GBC, you can overfly. Even if your NQE at the time, when you do your PFCS, says, don't overfly roads and don't do this and don't overfly that. You can. Okay, You're flying into a specific category, you can overfly. And that's if you've got your GBC CA operational authorisation. Bit of a rant there. Never fly over crowds. Well, that's, yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. Keep 150 metres away from built-up area. No, 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 no. Not with an A2C of C you don't, and not with a GBC you don't. Those flat in the rules face fines, and anyone endangering aircraft could receive a prison sentence. I agree, if you're going to endanger aircraft. But what's endangering an aircraft? If it comes low and fast across a a wooded area, and you can see your drone, and all of a sudden a helicopter comes out of nowhere, and they were flying low, would it be your fault if there was a crash? Probably not. So it's a new threat as well as safety and privacy issues. Right. 
safety. No one's died in over 20 years from a multi-rotor. <clears throat> now, privacy issues. Now, privacy is a different ball game. We already have a set of rules about that. GDPR, this, that and the other. Also note, Google Maps shows very, very detailed 3D models now of cities. So to be honest, you know, back garden privacy. You shouldn't be filming people in their back gardens. Um, but if a property is caught in the background, it's caught in the background. There's not much more to it. It's in a public space. I've got to do it with a micro light or a plane. Uh, also see sky views law. So the police also concerned about the use of drugs for illegal activities, such, in, such as smuggling drugs into prisons. Yes, I know of drone stories, and I've got a few that I'm not going to say <coughs> here today about drone smuggling into prisons, because I've heard a few stories. It does happen. Um, but the good news is, and this is the important bit, the good news is, in the UK, lots of people have had their lives saved now by drones. Lots. And I do mean that. In my county, Lincolnshire Police, their drone department are fantastic. You know, there are loads of stories on drones being used for good. They're not all used for bad. We've then also got the police. We'll be on the lookout for drones amid some high-profile events happening in the UK, including the Euro 2020, and then there's a climate conference in Glasgow in November. Well, you know, I expect restricted airspace to appear or no times to appear around these places. But for the most part, drone users are not out to be bad people. Okay, we, we fly within the rules. But I'm now going to tell you how to screw with the county UAS system. I'm sorry. Uh, they, this is, I've got to tell you this. How to screw with it all. Okay? Are you ready? These vehicles the police have got have got one thing in them. It's called Aeroscope by DJI. Basically, your DJI aircraft sends out a certain signal the OcuSync signal, they can pick that up. They can tell when you turn on a drone, they can tell when you turn it off, and they can tell where it is. It's that simple. However, they're out to make sure that you're flying legally, which means if they want to look at your flight records, they can ask to do that. So when you've done your flying for the day, okay, or you've just finished a flight, because they could be on the way to you right at that point in time, when you finish your flight, go into your flight records and just trash it, okay? Hit delete and just get rid of it. Especially if you've been more than like 500 meters with a Mini, just hit delete. Remove all your flight logs. If the police do happen to show up and you're flying, right? And, or you've landed and the police show up and you've got your mobile device in your hand, okay? And you've not synced. Do not sync your flights with DJI, whatever you do, because this will bite you in the ass. What you need to do, right, is while you're talking to the police or you've got your device in your hand, delete the app. Just delete the app. Because at that point there, they can't prove anything. All your records are gone. If you want to be really meaning you've got the aircraft on the ground, it's switched on, just hit reset aircraft. And then delete the app. And that's them screwed. They can't check your aircraft and they can't do anything. Okay? That's one way. And that kind of screws with them a bit. Okay? The only way they can, I'm saying okay, get an answer. So it's a bit annoying, but you know, that's one way to screw with them. Um, the other way is fly a parrot to Anafi. So if you enjoy flying and you don't want hassle from County UAS, get a different make from DJI because DJI Aeroscope it will only detect DJI stuff. They cannot detect other stuff. A simple vehicle with an Aeroscope in it is not enough to detect home builds. It won't detect anything other than DGI. They're going to probably go after the quick and easy win. And the quick and easy win is DGI stuff. So all you've got to do is buy something like a Parrot and Affy, Or wait until the Skydio comes to the UK and other drones. Because those won't be detected by this drone team. This counter UAS group. It just won't be possible. Okay. I've said okay again, haven't I? Damn it. Right, so... If you any time, just delete your logs. So net, always make sure that you just delete your logs. Just use and ex, export them in a CSV file. Keep them on a laptop or computer out of the way if you need to keep proof of your flight records. But otherwise, just delete all your flight records after every flight. They can't prove it's you unless, unless there's some way to prove it. And if you've deleted that flight log that says you've been a bit further than we're 
well, let's face it, people have been three kilometers. So if you've got a flight that says three kilometers, just select it, delete it. If it's not there, they can't find you. It's simple, okay? I've said it a fucking game. Right, so just delete logs, okay? It's, I've said it again. Um, so just delete logs, it's that simple. And if you really want to screw with their heads a little bit, just to make them run around, because why not make them run around a little bit if you're going to make us, if you're going to come after us, go make them run around a bit. Um, leave your drone switched on. So when you're going home, so you've been somewhere, but you're going to drive home now, what you want to do is make sure the aircraft is cooled, so that it's, it's, it's got airflow around it or whatever. Switch it on, okay, so it's now on and transmitting. Leave it in the car and then just drive home. To them, they will see this little dot <laughs> on the system driving along. They'll just see it stop moving and it will confuse them. And if we all do that, that'll just screw with them. It's simple, but it's enough to tip some off. You come hunting for us, fine. You want to come deliberately looking for me, fine. I'll make it easy, I'll switch on my drone and leave it on for you. It's dead simple. Right there, so there's a couple of ways you can mess with uh, the county OAS slot if you need to. A couple of things to watch out for, like deleting your logs. Don't leave them on your iPad, don't leave them on your app um, at all. Okay, so if you're doing your flight, delete it. Just get rid. Don't leave any chance for them to come and get you. Um, and that's it, basically. Um, I think it's disgusting that they're doing this. I think it's, uh, it's outrageous. And yeah, I'm not impressed at all, as you can probably tell. It's one big rant, isn't it, really? Right, everyone, um, safe flying, you know, stick to the rules, but safe flying, take care, um, yeah, and have a good one. Cheers.